So the second season of Castlevania dropped on Netflix on October 26th. The series is based on the video game series of the same name, and these two seasons in particular are based on Castlevania III Dracula's Curse that was released for the NES in 1989. While the Castlevania series has many protagonists, in three the playable characters are Trevor Belmont, Alucard, Sifa, and Grant Dynasty. Grant was excluded from these two seasons, and there's currently no word if he will show up in a future season. I myself am mostly unfamiliar with the Castlevania series. I know there are a bunch of games, and Symphony of the Night appears to be the favorite. But I have only played Order of Ecclesia for the DS, which I found to be overall a pretty good game, although with some frustrating RNG. As for the next flick series, I watched the first season last year and didn't like it. I felt it was incredibly boring outside of the last episode, and I couldn't quite explain why until I started the season. I think it was partially the writing and mostly the acting from the first season. The first was heavily emphasized on the townspeople and the priests, all who I felt uh, failed at convincing me that I was uh, in this world. It was when we briefly saw the priest again in the first scene of season two where I felt his dry voice drag things down. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same actor that did a couple of the white guy voices in the boondocks. And I think um, the juxtaposition, I think that's the word, of his serious voice with the comedic style of the boondocks fit better there than in here. But that aside, uh, let's get into the spoiler-free review of season two. So to recap with, se recap with season one, Dracula's wife is murdered by a group of villagers led by the village priest. In a response, Dracula rages war on, um, on humankind, actually calling for their extinction. Trevor Belmont is a drunk and meets up with the nomad magician Sifa. Uh, some boring stuff happens in between, and at the end they meet up with Alucard, Dracula's son. And they all go on a mission together to slay the vampire. Season 2 picks up right after this with the trio traveling along to find the whereabouts of Dracula. This story is heavily focused on Trevor, Sifa, and Alucard, and also Dracula and his army. I would say that the story leans more about Dracula and his followers than the three heroes, and I'm actually cool with that. The relationship between Dracula and his followers is probably the most interesting part of the show. It involves politics, humanity, and loss. It also has my favorite character on the show, Carmilla, the only female vampire that gets some spotlight. Now, Dracula's followers all have distinct personality, and you get a sense of their characters and backstory. Out of the vampires, I would have to say that Dracula was the least interesting, but he served his purpose for the plot and gave a climatic battle at the end. I know some serious Castlevania fans be wondering how the fight will play out, and despite only playing one Castlevania game, I can assure you that you will not be disappointed. Now, Trevor, Sif, and Alucard are all fine in the show, but it seems like the, the vampires actually steal the spotlight. You get fun banter between the characters, mainly jabs between Trevor and Alucard, but the three characters grow into their own on the journey, which was a lot shorter than I expected it to be. You get a couple of neat fights with them, them all, and I'm still intrigued on where the characters will go from here. Something else I wanted to talk about quickly is how gorgeous the animation is. The artwork is not only pretty, but it animates well. The frames move with a water-like flow that's beautiful to watch, and some of the fight choreography is gory and spectacular. Overall, I really enjoyed this season. It's not perfect. Uh, there are a few parts where it tends to drag, but as soon as you start to get bored, it pulls you right back in. But, yeah, this is actually probably the very first good video game um, TV show or um, show based off a of video game that I've seen. The only ones I remember watching before were Super Mario Brothers, um, Mega Man, and Sonic back in the day, but I like barely, barely remember any of those, and I think they were bad if I'm not mistaken. Nobody seems to talk about them. Um, and uh, I know there was also um, Sonic Boom recently, which I also hear is trash. And I think I remember Nickelodeon having a t attack series some years ago. Um, I think I saw a little bit of the Donkey Kong one, which, oh my gosh, that had to be the worst one I ever seen in it. 
That was so bad. I, I didn't even know there was a Donkey Kong one until about maybe two years ago. And I saw a little bit of the Street Fighter one. That's, that's pretty bad, too. Um, it seemed like to be a little bit... I think it's just a little more than I remember. It's just... You forget them all because I don't think any of them lasted that long. And I think it was a little Kirby anime, too. But, yeah, the that's basically what I think about... Um, Season two. I can't wait to see what uh, where it goes from here. I also want to try and play more Castlevania games as well. Oh, and um, I did hear that the producer of this series is also working on another game franchise from a Japanese studio. The rumors is that it's Legend of Zelda, but we won't have any confirmation on that right now. But I wouldn't mind seeing a legendary uh, Legend of Zelda series. Um, maybe Metroid. Or uh, I can't think of much else on top of my head what I'd like to see for uh, by um, a Japanese studio, but I do think that Skull Girls, that indie fighting game that was released, like I think it was all the way back in 2012. Yeah, actually, I think that would make for like a really cool cartoon. But yeah, that's about that's it, guys. So I'll see y'all next time. Peace.